Hello and welcome. The following is a presentation for SAP Process Automation Proposed Reclassification of GL Account Entries 5AK. Problem Statement. In the normal course of business, there may be a need to reclassify operational expenses and other entries from one account to another. Oftentimes, this requires reviewing and analyzing postings made to several accounts, often across several company codes, and preparing detailed corresponding journal entries. This activity can be time-consuming and error-prone. The solution. The bot proposes reclassification journal entries based on user-defined GL account mappings. The mappings will indicate the GL accounts for which the bot will check the current journal entries and the GL accounts to which the entries need to be reclassified. The bot identifies the journal entries for the specified GL accounts and company codes and generates an Excel template file populated with the proposed reclassification journal entries. The business value and benefits, postings matching criteria are scanned rapidly and journal entries are generated on the fly. Reduction of manual effort and time required to analyze and prepare reclassification entries is achieved. Here we have a high level overview of the end-to-end -end process. Note that there's two bots involved in this scenario. We are using proposed reclassification of GL account entries 5AK to generate a template that is pre-populated with the journal entries and then we have 4CA, which is the automated upload of manual entries via API. A business user defines the set of accounts to analyze, a date range, company code, and a file that contains the mappings of origin to destination accounts for the reclassifications. The bot executes and scans accounts defined by the user and retrieves details from posted journals that match the criteria. An Excel template is then populated with the proposed entries for reclassification. Once this template is generated, it will be saved into a local directory that 4CA bot can then upload to S4 HANA Cloud. Once 4CA executes, the journal entries are posted. A special stamp is appended to the new journal entries to ensure future proposals ignore previous reclassifications. In both cases, once each of these bots concludes, a status email will be sent to the users. The bot notifies the users of status and outcome via email. User can now view the results on the Fury app in S4 HANA Cloud. The app for viewing journal entries and managing them is Manage Journal Entries Fury app. This concludes the high-level overview. Now we will demo on this system the proposed reclassification of GL account entries 5AK bot. This demo contemplates that the user has already configured the bot and is ready to run. We will now click on the desktop agent icon and the system tray and we will go to look for the projects and start the corresponding bot. As the desktop agent initializes and connects, the icon will change color and we will then be able to trigger the bot. In this case, the trigger that has been set up for this demonstration is an attended trigger. Note that this bot can also be configured to schedule and run on predefined intervals. We can click Proposed Reclassification of GL Account Entries, and it should initialize the starting screen. We'll read the instructions, and then we can proceed to run. In the input criteria, we will enter the company code, accounts to scan, separated by semicolons. This has already been pre-populated. We'll use the posting date from and to to set up an interval. Then we will specify where the rules file is located. I have already created a rules file and for illustration purposes, this is what it looks like. It's two columns indicating the original account and the account to reclassify to. Notice that we can indicate several accounts that map to the same one. After this file is edited and saved, we can then proceed to indicating where it is stored. We'll click the Browse button and it should bring up the Windows Explorer and indicate the path where the files is saved. We also need to indicate the output folder. There's already a folder that was created on this local drive. We also need to indicate a system URL. This should correspond to the target system that is bot is running. We'll also indicate where to save the log file. In similar fashion, this is also stored in a local directory. 
And additionally, we will enter an email address to which the report will be sent. Now we're ready to run. These actions occur in the background and there's nothing really that we will apparently see. So we will await for the confirmation of execution and we can in turn also monitor the local directory where the output is being generated. We will receive a message from the desktop agent that the bot has executed successfully. We can also see in the directory where the file had been saved for output that we have a journal entry reclassification Excel file. We will open this to review and re proposed entries that have been generated by the bot. As we can see, this file is split into header and line item detail tabs. We have an ID for each header level. And in this case, the bot identified 29 different journals to reclassify. We can see in the details and the items, there's a corresponding debit and credit lines for each source and destination accounts and the amounts the transaction codes, and any other details that are necessary, including account assignment to profit centers and cost centers. Additionally, at the header level, there's a special field reference to in document header has a special stamp that on future executions, the bot will ignore entries that have the stamp as it considers reclassifications have already been conducted, thus preventing duplicates. This file is ready to be uploaded to bot4ca so that it can be posted in the system. At this time, this file is merely a proposal of entries. Note that there are additional details that can be edited in this file as necessary, depending on settings on this target system and any additional edits that wouldn't be made.